Whoa. He looks like a bad mother. Shut your mouth. I'm just talking about game. What's up, my peoples? And go here, the freaking geek himself. And today we will be reviewing the SIC Common Rider game, Jimbo Lemon Arms. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So at the front here, we have a nice image of the toy Common Rider game, Jimbo Lemon Arms. Got the Hellheim fruit and vines all around. Over here, you got the peach. Over here, you got the cherry on the top. Words and things and things and Helheim fruit on the bottom, things and stuff that I cannot read. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. I just killed him. You have your obligatory product shots. He does this, that, the other. That's basically it for the packaging. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Sorry about that. Just sorry. 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 So moving right along, here we have Gaim with the Jimba arms and uh, another very cool figure from SIC. I love what they did with the armor here. They basically turned the uh, the, the the Jimba arms into a uh, into like a trench coat and that is awesome. I love this one. I think this is this this might be maybe my favorite figure so far. I really dig what they did with the design here. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at all of this sweet detail. We can see the crest there done in a nice silver. And everything is just done in a silver and black. Of course, you have the orange right behind the visor right there. All that nice detail on the back of the helmet. Uh, the coat itself, nicely detailed. The shoulder pieces here, as you can see, have uh, flames molded onto them, which is very nice. And the chest piece itself done in silver and black. And you can see the uh, the lemon lapels there. <laughs> he has lemon lapels with the little Gaim logo right there and this Lockseed, his Lockseed loves to pop off of his belt. You stay. But here we have the Sengoku driver with the orange Lockseed and the lemon energy Lockseed. Which is very very nicely done. And again you get that nice lemony design <laughs> going down the coat here, going down his legs. Again lots of nice details, some nice paint going on here. And the shoes, even the bottoms, are nicely molded and painted as well. Uh, the bottom of the coat itself actually does have this nice flame design, which is molded into the plastic. And it looks like they just used a, uh, a wash to, to paint it in, but that looks really cool. Really cool. Done in a nice gold. And right here on the back, that guy in symbol. Yeah, overall, very nicely done. Got the silver right there, silver details, even some uh, kind of looks like some teal, some tealish height lights in the shoulder pads there. Yeah, very nicely done. Of course, the forearm armor there done in gold, gold on the gloves there. Yeah, as usual, just a very wonderfully detailed, very wonderfully painted figure, as SIC does. No. Articulation wise, uh, the neck is on a ball joint at the base. You also have a ball joint up here, so you have a lot of wiggly, 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 wiggly. Um, due to the collar, it can restrict the head movement a little bit, how much you can turn it, along with the uh, with the back of the helmet as well. So those two things in tandem will kind of restrict his head movement, but it can pretty much turn as much as I think it needs to. Uh, the arms. Again, just due to the shoulder pieces, due to the shoulder pads here, uh, the arms are a bit hindered as far as how far they can go. You can get them to move pretty much how you want, but you do want to be a bit careful with them. Uh, the shoulder pieces are on a hinge here, so you can move those around, and they're on a ball joint. Arms can move out about that far. You do have rotation at the arm. Double jointed elbow, so you have a nice full range of movement there. You also have rotation out to the wrist, and you also have that hinge in there as well, so depending on now you have that oriented, you can have the hand moving in any direction you want to. Um, the waist is ball jointed and you'll probably knock the lock seeds off. But you do have that ball jointed waist right there. So you have rotation and some ab crunching and some side to side crunching, whatever you need. And the legs can move forward about that far. Buck! Squeaky joints about that far. Outward. 
get out about that far. You do have rotation at the top of the thigh. You do have a double jointed knee, so you have a nice full range of movement there. And the feet can move up and down. You have the hinge in there as well, so depending on how you have that oriented, you can get some good ankle tilt as well. And it does have a little bit of a toe joint. So pretty much your standard articulation for these figures. Here, man, you dropped your lock seed. You dropped your lock seed. Don't be dropping your lock seeds. You need these, man. You need these. There you go. You just pig right on. It's just sometimes it's really easy to just kind of knock them out. All right. All right, here you go. So let's run through. Actually, one thing I wanted to show too, even the inside of the coat. Even inside of the coat, they have these little flame details painted in as well, which is really cool. They didn't have to do that, but they did it, and that looks really cool. So. There you go. So now let's run through all of the accessories. He's got his Muso Saber right here, which has its own sheath with a little bit of gold on there. And the Muso Saber, Muso Saber, Muso Saber <laughs> is, as you can see, nicely molded. You got some paint right there. You got the gold going up the blade. Nice silver blade. Again, nicely detailed. And you got the little sheath for it. That holds in nice and secure like. You do get the Sonic Arrow, which again is beautifully, beautifully done, just like the one that uh, Zengets came with. A nice metallic red. You got that trans clear and blue. You got the silver and black. Looks very, very nice. I love the way this looks. Very nicely done. And huge as well, as you can see. Like it's actually taller than he is. <laughs> it's a huge sonic arrow. And again, just like uh, with uh, Zengets, you do have the optional piece here that you can remove and replace with this piece right here. So you can have some bow drawing poses if you wish. We can go pew and do all kinds of that. So that's very cool that you have some options there for display. So you got that going on. He comes with some extra lock seeds. Here is a uh, here is the closed version of the lemon energy lock seed right there. Very nicely done and very tiny as you can see. He does also come with a Chetty energy lock seed, which again very nicely done for me. It's such a small piece. Very nice. And you also get an open version of the Chetty energy lock seed. Again, very tiny, but nicely done. And you also get the Peach Energy Lock Seed. Do you focus? Focus. There you go. They're so small. There's the Peach Energy Lock Seed. And of course, you also get an open version of the Peach. Focus. Focus, please. There you go. An open version of the Peach Energy Lock Seed. Again, very, very tiny pieces. He does, of course, include extra hands. The ones that are on him are the closed fists, but you do also get a Muso Saber holding hand right there. You get a Sonic Arrow holding hand. And you get two of these somewhat open kind of clenching hands. These can be used as a lock seed holding hands, and these can also be, also be used to uh, have him in, you know, bow drawing poses as well. So they have dual use. And you can also swap out these pieces here on the coat so he can use the different energy lock seeds. And these just simply unpeg like so. So you just remove these. And they do pop out nice and easily, like so. And what do we swap it with? Let's start off with the Chetty Energy. So here we have the top pieces right there, again with the Gaim logo. And the Chetty is, again, nicely painted. And we can just pop these on, like that. Pop that on. And then you have the lower pieces here. Pop those on, like so, on there, and pop it on, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, and there you go. So now you have the uh, Jimba cherry arms if you want to, of course we need the appropriate lock seed, so let's remove 
the lemon and where's my little cherry lock seat here we go let me just plug the cherry lock seat on here it's very tiny it's so small <laughs> it's so small get on there there we go so now you have the jimba cherry ha -ha. so you got that going on and you do also have pieces for the peach energy so again we can just remove these and just put them off to the side and we can bring in the nice bright pink peach energy pieces and again just plug those onto the carrots like so gives him a nice splash of color it really brightens things up doesn't it ah your coat is so drab it needs color get some pink on there there we go now you look bright now you see now, now you look bright and bright and cheery before you kill monsters yay anyway, i don't know what i'm saying <laughs> just get on there there you go and of course let us apply the appropriate lock seed. No, not the, you, you stay, you stay where you are. Thank you, thank you. So I'll bring in the peach lock seed here. Just plug that on. Doop. There we go. Now you have the Jimba peach. Ha -ha. That was pretty cool. Like I said, it definitely gives it a, a splash of color there. Makes it look nice and bright. You got that going on. So you have the option there, which is pretty cool. Now me personally, I, I like the lemon best. So I'm going to switch this back to lemon real quick. Be right back. Ha -ha! All right. So I got him back with the Jimba lemon. Now, of course, you do have storage for your weapons here. You do have this little, little holster right here for the sword. And you just slide that right through. That sits right there under that piece of the coat right there. So, you got your Muso Saber stored, and of course, you can have him holding his Sonic Arrow. I already got the hand on it because this is really hard to do. It's really hard to get the to, to get the Sonic Arrow in this hand. That's why I did it ahead of time, just so you wouldn't have to watch me struggle. But, um, hey, okay, just pop that off and pop the new hand on. Boop. Wait, nope. Come on. I thought it pooped. It didn't poop. It didn't poop. It didn't poop. That was a false poop. Get on there. Sometimes the hands can be a little tough to get on. There we go. So you got that going on. <laughs> he's, he's looking down at his hand like, why was that so difficult? Seriously, jeez. I just want to hold my weapon, man. Jeez, anyway. <laughs> it was like he was reacting to what I was doing. Like, man, that was really a lot more work than it should have been. I know, I know. There you go. You got him armed up there. So, every time I review one of these SIC Gaim figures, I always get somebody who asks this question, and I've been meaning to address it, I just always forget, but I remember this time, and the question is, can you swap the armors around between the riders? Um, yes, you can. Uh, they all have the same base body. They all have the same connection points. So yes, you can totally swap the armors around between the figures if you want to. It is totally doable. So, that was the answer to that question. Another thing you can do is you can store the extra lock seeds on him. Um, it does help if you remove these pieces right here because it will allow the coat to flex a little bit more for you. But you do have a uh, lock seed holder right here at his side. And you can take the lemon energy lock seed even though he has that on the belt. But hey, you can still plug that there if you want to. And take the peach. Oops, upside down. There we go. Hey, get on there. And you got the peach, you got the cherry. So there you have your energy lock seeds stored on his belt if you wish. And again, I knocked off his orange lock seed that loves to pop off. Anyway, there we go. Let's get all this bag on. And we have everything all stored. And all good to go. Get them situated here. And now we will get down to some comparisons. So for comparison, here he is with the regular SIC Gaim. So you can see how they look together. So there you have that. 
And here he is with Zangetz with the Melon Energy Arms. Uh, so you can see how they look together. And again, a bunch of good looking figures in my opinion. I love them. I love them. And of course, like with all the other figures, you can do the armor display setup if you want to. And to do that, of course, we need to just take this figure and just rip it apart. So we need to rip off his head, uh, remove the head crest here, remove the front faceplates right here, uh, replace it with this faceplate, which is more of an empty, it does have the visor, it does have the mouthpiece, just to make it look more like an empty helmet here. And this is die cast. You can see the nice metallic orange they used back there. Pretty cool. And you just plug that in, take the crest, plug that onto that, and you got that good to go. And now we need to remove his hand here. Remove the sword, take that off. You want to remove the shoulder pads right there. They're just on ball joints, so they just pop right off. Boop. And block seed fell out, as always. <laughs> And now you want to bring the arms back. Again, it does help to remove these pieces here just so the plastic will flex a little bit more for you. Because once you bring the arms back, you now have to take the coat off and you just want to undo this little post right here. That's what holds the coat on. And then you just kind of take that and just bring it back like so. And just get the coat off. Come on, come on. Yeah. There you go. So now we got the coat off. And once we've done that, we'll knock off more lock seeds. You know what? Just take them all off. Just take them all off to go full out anyway. There you go. <laughs> so once you do that, you just want to come in here and split the armor down the middle here. And just unpeg the chest piece. Unpeg the back piece. Like that, remove this section right here. And at this point now, you want to just grab him and rip him in half. Oh, right there, just on a ball joint. Uh, you do need this waist piece right here, and obviously this piece, and this will just go off to the side. We don't need that anymore. And now that we have that all situated, let's get these little lock seeds back on here. They're very small, and they're on very small posts, so it's kind of easy to just pop them off. And there, well, it is what it is, what you're going to do about it. Especially this one. That, that orange locks, he loves to pop off. That one's kind of loose on there. There we go. All right, so now that we have all that, we can now bring in our little display base here. Again, just done in black and gold. Gaim symbol right there. And we just want to move this piece, undo these two pieces, and we shall get started. So, uh, what are we going to do first? We'll do the upper body first. So, take this piece, just bring that down over top, and just plug in. Oops, no, that's a shoulder piece. I want the chest piece. There we go. Take the chest piece and line everything up. Plug that in. Take the back piece, line that up, and plug all that in like so. Make sure the side pieces tab in as well, like that. And we're going to just leave that for now. And now we're going to take, let's come down here a little bit. I'm gonna take this piece and the skirt piece here will just sit on top of that. Then you take this waist piece and that will sit right there on top of that. And then you just take the two halves here and peg them together. Like so. Just get everything straightened out there, best you can. There you go. Now we can just plug this on to the base, like so. You stay on there, Loxseed, you stay on. So, you got that going on, and then we'll come back up a little bit here. And now, you want to put the coat back on. Just drop that down, over top. Just take that and just... Take that back in to secure it into place. Once you do that, you just take the shoulder pieces and you pop that back on. Pop them on those little ball joints. Pop it on. Come on. Boop. There we go. 
and just pop that on. Try to get everything as straight as you can. I'm not gonna, you know, <laughs> I'm not gonna fiddle with it too much. You get the idea. And just put these pieces back on. Put the faces back on. Take the head. Pop that right up top. And there you have the armor display. And you also get a little stand here for the weapons. And you just take the sonic arrow and that will sit up top. You take the Musa Saber and that just cradles right there. And there you have the full armor display, which again is pretty cool. It's a nice option if you want to make use of it. Hey, why not? Why not? So, you got that going on. And like with all the other figures, you do get the uh, the backdrop right here done in gold with Gaim symbol. And you can just have that hanging out right back there. And again, makes for a very nice display. And that's pretty much it for the Jimba Lemon Arms. Again, another very, very cool figure from SIC. I absolutely love these things. I love them. Keep making them. I will keep buying them. Um, especially because it's Gaim and I love Gaim, so I will buy anything Gaim. So if you keep making them, I will keep buying them. Um, so yeah, very, very cool figures. I very much dig them. Um, didn't have any problems with this. My only real, the only thing that really bugs me is just that these lock seats fall out a little too easily. But other than that, um, everything is uh, pretty, pretty solid on this figure. So there you go. Now I pick this up from BigBadToyStore.com. Um, so there will be a link to their site in the description down below so you can check them out. Of course, there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as CS Toys, Hobby Link Japan, AmiAmi, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course, there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. And you can also check out my Kamen Rider Gaim playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the SIC, Kamen Rider Gaima Jimba Lemon Arms, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Boom in your face! Oh! Just because you got a new coat, you think you can defeat me? I will destroy you. Brother, brother, it's time for dance practice. Can't you get someone else to drive you? I'm in the middle of something here. But brother... Oh, for the love of... I can't deal with him sometimes, I just can't. And you... I... I... I will be right back. Hmm. Such a weird family. <laughs>